Historically speaking, the scope of a nation's maritime activity has defined its power in its nationalization, particularly determining the trajectory of great power. The use of navy, not only in terms of times of war, but also as an instrument of diplomacy, deterrence, and political influence in peacetime is the key to realize the central role of naval forces in any nation's role as a great power. For India, the arc from the Persian Gulf to the Straits of Malacca can be considered as a traditional sphere of influence. In recent years, a number of challenges have emerged in this region. You have Chinese naval presence in the Indian Ocean region, both military and commercial, including at Gwadar in Pakistan and Hambantota in Sri Lanka. That combined with the various maritime disputes which are taking place in the region. Challenges of energy security with protection of sea lines of communication. Threat posed by piracy and other maritime security challenges including the possibility of another Mumbai type of attack. Now, Indian naval capabilities have undergone significant expansion in response to these challenges. As part of this, India has been inducting various platforms like aircraft carriers, submarines, long-range maritime surveillance aircraft, and amphibious landing platform docks and ships. What we need now is to move beyond this and to build qualitative strategic relationships with various states in the region including the littoral states and the middle powers, and engage in their capacity building. Unfortunately, we still lack the political will to optimally utilize our influence and capabilities for projecting power in the extended neighborhood, which is largely a maritime government, and emerge as a regional net security provider. As a dominant regional power in South Asia and in the Indian Ocean region, and as an aspirant for the permanent seat at the United Nations Security Council, India needs to take an enhanced role to ensure regional peace and security. And unlike China, most of the countries in the region see India in benign terms. Hence, they also expect India to be emerging as a regional net security provider.